You wait for the right moment, then go, tumbling away into emptiness and exhilaration. Two miles high in the heavens, and there's a string of parachutists queuing up to dive into their show-stopping acrobatic act of the air. These are today's sailors of the skies, British and American army experts who coax their colored canopies to drop them spot on the airfield marker. Gone are the days when men floated to earth wondering just where they would land. Now those old-fashioned chutes are paragliders, controlled by steering toggles that respond to every touch and bring the sky sailors in bang on target. Incredible, you may consider, that such uncanny accuracy can be achieved by men who swoop down to earth at nearly 20 miles an hour. And what could be more appropriate than a sawdust ring for an act that has all the breathtaking spectacle of the circus? But from that hovering helicopter way up in the blue, you need to look out for the wind direction flares before taking the plunge. Just think, would you do it for a laugh? Fall out into space at 120 miles an hour? Or would you want someone to hold your hand? Suddenly, the geography below looms up and you pull the cord. The smoke canisters pick out these human skywriters as they inch their way onto target, steering into the wind with bird-like precision to ease the final shock of landing. Here you see the true choreography of the clouds. Perfect control, perfect balance, turning and braking, and using every vent in the canopy to almost motorize the last few feet of this dizzy descent. These cavaliers of space are the cream of today's skydivers, an explosive combination of American Golden Knights and British Red Devils, who thrill thousands at air shows and displays throughout the world. These are men who need ice-cool nerves and calculation to reach the glide path of success. And they've joined forces to provide us with some of the most fascinating glimpses of the newest and most daring of sports. You really do come down to earth with a bang when learning the basic arts of free-falling. There's precious little time to hang around and worry about techniques when you're dropping like a stone. That's something which has to be perfected on the ground. A skydiver's life depends on the reliability of his equipment. The pack on his back is a lifeline, which in midair takes just three vital seconds to unfold and slow his descent by a hundred miles an hour. On the ground, the simplest techniques must be perfected to make sure a skydiver won't step out into a nightmare. Balanced movements using arms and feet to change speed and direction are emphasized by instructors who won't be around when a pupil eventually launches out on his own. It's a proud badge of courage worn by the British and American teams. You can be sure that when Lieutenant General Sir Kenneth Darling, Colonel Commandant of the Parachute Regiment, meets the Golden Knights, then something spectacular is in the wind. An inscribed baton is to be passed in mid-air. But first, the men who drop over 100 miles an hour will take time to pack their parachutes. Each man is responsible for his own equipment. Altimeter and stopwatch must be checked, and so too must the crash hat camera, which will record a unique drama you're now flying off to experience. Cornish scenery gradually takes on a relief map look as helicopters climb to the 12,000-foot jumping point. Precious moments are used to make final adjustments. Nothing can be left to chance at a height where the cold bites the skin and the air is rarefied. There's a reserve parachute strapped to each man's chest, but no thought of emergency procedure as the helicopter levels at the dropping height. This is it, the moment when you suddenly drop away into nothing and our modified machine gun camera, rescued from a World War II fighter, captures the haunting exhilaration of what it's really like to turn the world upside down. There's only
only 60 seconds free fall time to play with. If you want longer, you have to go higher. Like the American world record holder who jumped 17 miles up and was falling for eight minutes. These astonishing pictures are from the helmet camera. Yes, you're falling at 120 miles an hour. Yet you might be floating in space. Spirals on the very ceiling of the world and the baton changes hands. Any moment now, it's time to pull the ripcord on these cloud capers. But those magical, mysterious 60 seconds are moments when you fly like a bird.